Okay, so I thought I'd make a little video here. I came across something interesting while doing the lower intake gaskets on this uh, 96 Oldsmobile Cutlass with a 3.1 in it. And a lot of you know that this is a common issue. So here's what we've got going on. Uh, this is a, uh, this uh, vehicle uses a uh, Dexcool. And I wanted to show, give an example here of why it's called Dexkill. <laughs> as some people uh, call it. But uh, basically what's going on is uh, this coolant, Dex Cool, is supposed to be a long life, high mileage coolant that requires little maintenance and has an extended uh, change interval. It's kind of like synthetic oil, but it's coolant, not oil. So what, uh, what, what happens here is this stuff is very uh, susceptible to air contamination. And when you get air in your cooling system, it actually causes the uh, coolant to gum up and it stops up cooling passages, causes overheating, and it just creates a mess. Uh, I wanted to show, show you guys an example here of what this looks like. So this is uh, underneath the lower intake manifold. As you can see, we've got the uh, push rods here, the rockers, and the lower intake manifold gaskets. But if you look... Uh, if you look here, this is one of the uh, coolant jackets on the cylinder head. And all this in here, look at that. I And I just did these lower intake gaskets. I don't know why they blew again. I think the engine overheated. I'm not exactly sure why. But uh, I just did these about 25,000 miles ago. And I cleaned this out. I cleaned this out last time because it was just as bad. But look at all that junk in there. This, this stuff is nasty. Uh, now imagine that flowing through your radiator and your heater core and all the good stuff that has tiny little passages. It just clogs stuff up. It's like a mud is what it is, literally. It's nasty. Um, this is why it's called Dexkill. And a lot of people have changed back to the regular uh, green mixture of coolant because it, uh, you don't have those problems uh, with that. You have to change it a little more often, but saves you having to replace a heater core it's worth it most of the time but this stuff gets in uh, the radiator gets in the heater core gets in small coolant passages in the cylinder head and as you can see in here almost stops them up completely look at this other one that is completely stopped up except for except for that top portion right there look at all that that's what Dexcool does. Now, a lot of newer vehicles are running Dexcool, and uh, I haven't seen many issues with them. Uh, a lot of the issues were with the uh, three ones, three fours, and the uh, four point threes for General Motors that I've seen. And like I was saying, it's mainly because air gets in the cooling system due to little leaks, like this poorly designed lower intake manifold gasket set up here. You can see where this one was leaking, right there. That's why we're replacing them. Like I said, I just did these 25,000 miles ago. This one's starting to leak as well. You can kind of see how it started to melt a little bit around the plastic gasket. So that's where our problem is. But anyway, that's uh, that's why it's called Dex Kill. It clogs up your cores, clogs up your radiator. And you can even take a look inside the radiator here. It's nasty. Looks just like that junk. Mm-hmm. And that can cause cooling problems, all kinds of good problems here. Water pump was leaking too, and you can see all that rust-looking color sprayed all over everywhere. It's up on the hood liner here. And even the uh, coolant cap, as you can see right there, it's full of it. So, anyway, there's a little look at uh, what happens uh, to deck school there when you get uh, air into the cooling system. Clogs up. So, that's what I was saying. It's Usually it's worth the switch back to the green coolant. Some people just insist to stay with the deck school. I usually switch. But Anyways, there you go. A little look at deck school. So, I'm going to have to clean this whole thing out. Yeah.
Clean it out, probably convert it, flush the cooling system, try to get as much of that junk out of there as I can. So, there you go.